Okay, so part three, we will be taking care of the smoke now. First, we will add an object that will be the one that uh, produces the smoke, emits the smoke. So in our case, we will use, uh, we could use maybe uh, a cylinder. Doesn't have to be this high. That's fine. Rotate Y. Uh, 90 degrees, enter. Let's go back to layout and grab on C. And now we will use scale and then shift X to scale on everything but X. And we will put it just about there. Apply scale. Now selecting that object. We will go to Object, Quick Effects, and Smoke. That will be the, the emitter, and that will be the domain of the smoke, where the smoke can appear or can simulate. We will first select the emitter there. We will also hide it from uh, renders. And I will start the animation here. So. When, the, when this hits, it will start uh, adding smoke. So this is when it's producing smoke. It's, this is clicked. And if it's not clicked, it won't be uh, producing smoke. So we will start with this uh, unclicked. Go to the frame before it starts and click here. That will add a keyframe. You can see it here. We will go to the next frame, click here to activate it, and again click the animate property. So now it's working, and we will let it maybe now there, click again, and move one more. And click and click again. That's all we have to do with this uh, object. Now we will go to the domain and we will make some changes here too. Here we can we can change the rising speed. So we will change this to five. And here also, we will add a little bit of turbulence here. We also want the smoke to dissolve in time. We will use 20. Uh, the higher the number, the, the more it takes to dissolve. And um, we will also add some noise. Go to shading and we can affect the color of the, of the smoke here. As you can see, it works. And now we will bake the smoke. So if we select this, we go to here and we will change this instead of replay to all and bake. Okay, now it's baked. If we play the animation, you will see how the smoke comes out. You can adjust the density here also. Maybe that's too much. Uh, let's try three. Or one. That's fine. I will use my camera. Select the camera. Depth of field, we can set this to around 0 0.6. And the focal point open here. Click limits. Now you can see where the camera is fo uh, focus is. As you change this, we want it to be close to the object. We can use uh, an empty bird, but uh, 
there's a there are some uh, like bugs with the different blends so I prefer to use the distance here I will change here where I want to put my video change this to video here encoding and pay four now I can render this is my result I would love to see yours if you want to tag me on Twitter I will be happy to comment and like your videos too. I hope you have liked this tutorial. We will be doing a lot more of this since this is what I like to do. <laughs> and if you see my Twitter account, you will find a lot of things like this. A like doesn't cost you anything and will help me make my videos reach a bit more audience. I also have a Patreon account where you get a lot of free products, shaders every month and you will be helping me and dedicate more time to these tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.